So the um, if you're a senior, uh, sorry, this is one of those technical difficulties working with the computer and the internet, and we're learning it. Uh, I'm learning a, it. Uh, but sorry. we just stopped our, our, we didn't stop the broadcast. We're still talking, right? Um, and, um, but uh, He's a cameraman. Uh, uh, that was just going to say, right? This is the show. This <laughs> yes, is it, right? Yes. I'm the producer, director, yes. and we've got the talent right here. <laughs> <laughs> So, so es interesante, de, perdón que tuvimos una, una pausa ahí, sí, sí, yo no sé exactamente, pero, pero uh, nos estamos riendo porque soy el productor, el director y el talento, aquí lo tenemos, aquí enfrente de nosotros. Pero, pero estamos hablando que Jesse Tree hace mucho tanto con... con Con, con mínimo, mínimos ingresos, mínimos, mínimos uh, personas que trabajan aquí con esta organización um, y, um, y buscan apoyo de la comunidad, eso es importante. Um, I, um, and by the way, if you have comments, if you have uh, notes, um, once again, I'm trying to keep with it with technology. I'm on Twitter at Boomer Texican, Boomer Texican. You can send comments or notes uh, on Facebook, Joe Campion. And uh, I think this also goes into LinkedIn as well, too, um, that uh, the show is also there. And then later on, when you're tired or something and you want to listen to the craziness that goes on here or the topics, uh, you can also go to YouTube and watch the program as well, too. Assuming I press the right button whenever we finish the show. Okay, that's once again. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, but... Um, but yes, I see that, and, and um, but I also see that, and this is interesting. I don't know, I don't know if this is true or not, but um, we've been one of the biggest critics about who's really practicing medicine. Is it the insurance companies, the insurers, or is it really the doctors? And I would have to say, I think if you hear from the, huh? well, it's a, it's a combination. But if you go to the doctors, the doctors say, I can't give you this test because it's not approved. But I think that you need this test. And then, then, but the doctor is not going to become your advocate at that point. They're not, they're not, and we see that in some young medical students that we come in, we talk to, right? Huh? What, what, what impact, David and the Jesse Tree do an annual working with uh, UTMB, uh, some young um, entry-level medical students or students who are considering medical school. And I have to say that's one of the greatest programs from the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston. They bring in a diverse group of students from across the state of Texas, particularly the majority of them in Texas. But uh, los traen aquí en Galveston son estudiantes que quieren um, eh, ser médicos. Los traen aquí en Galveston, Texas. Sí. Eso sí, uh, saludo a la universidad por hacer eso. I have to get my hats off for them for that. It's a great program. But what what have you have you seen them? Impacts people talking to you of these students that come in and say, "Wow, I never knew these things as they come in." Oh, Tell me absolutely! About that. And I want to uh, give an acknowledgement to Dr. Lisa Kay and uh, Ms. Deborah Lighty, who actually Deborah, run yes. that yeah, uh, yeah. program, uh, and it's been exceptional. It's uh, been a focus on uh, specifically uh, uh, Latina, uh, Latina American, and uh, African American uh, college graduates, uh, graduate degrees, students who are interested in pursuing uh, a medical degree. And so they actually utilize this program to prepare for the medical uh, ex medical school examination, medical school, medical school exam. It's an entry into getting accepted into a medical school. And so they have actually in uh, made sure that the students are connected with an entity such as the Jesse Tree to actually get a sense of who would be their patient base, who would be their uh, clients, who would be the individuals that they would be working with, and to show them that these individuals actually have concerns in addition to medical concerns and needs, but to see where they're coming from socially, what's impacting their lives, what may have impacted that individual that actually is genetically predisposed to a medical condition that they haven't been educated or informed about. Be, their focus is if they're working class individuals, uh, economically uh, deprived uh, uh, and not actually getting fair and equitable uh, salaries, that may be a focus for them more so than actually being aware that they need to begin the steps 
of uh, prevention if they're di uh, di uh, genetically predisposed to diabetes. diabetes. Because they got to pay the rent, they got to yeah. pay the water, they got to pay the uh, electric, they got to have a car, they got, you know, just a whole bunch of mm -hmm. dynamics. And our program affords the broad sense of getting to holistically see where the and who the person is that you're going to possibly be treating mm -hmm. if you and uh, fortunate enough to actually become an MD. Uh, David felicita a la señora doctora Lisa y Debra Lady que son las um, directoras de este programa donde traen estos estudiantes que tienen un interés en hacer, hacerse doctores, participar como médicos en nuestra comunidad um, y, uh, y vienen aquí Uh, ven la otra parte, la otra parte de ser humano, no, no solamente el tratamiento, pero hay otros otros aspectos de, de, de que, que uno se puede curar. Simplemente, it, part of curing is just listening too, taking the time to listen. Uh, I, I, Absolutely. I, I, I give Absolutely. I give the example. He's a dear doctor friend of mine, and I, he's my doctor. And turned out that um, he's your doctor, by the way, too. Oh my God! Uh, I don't know. I'm not but uh, you, but. Um, And then he happens to be, I, I, I refer a lot of people to him, and it turned out one of the people that I referred to, um, Spanish-speaking, uh, asked if I would go with him, right? And uh, the, uh, the doctor was there, and uh, I, I thought it was funny, and the doctor didn't realize it. He says, everything that you're telling him and that he's now willing to do, I've, I've told him. I said, yeah, but you lacked one thing. You didn't become relational. You have to become relational. And being relational doesn't mean, doctor, just putting all the information in your computer, right? And, exactly. and, and, and he exactly. is one of these younger yes. persons, yes. right? Exactly. He is one of younger. And younger people, the relational part for them is, I, I saw you on Facebook. I saw you on Snapchat. I saw you on this or I saw you on that. Yes. And, and that's the relational part. I kind of said, okay, no, you know what? I'm a, I, like, I like things a bit more... Uh, uh, live and that's what you do with these med students you make it live huh and you just brought up an interesting point because that's definitely one of the areas that we cover with them it depends on the messenger and if you are a messenger make sure that the message that you are conveying is being received and understood that you are concerned about them, yeah. that you're actually interested in them, interesting. and that you want to work with them you want to be there in a realm of support and encouragement and uplift And so that's what uh, you re reflected and represented when you actually were with the patient meeting with the physician, yeah. because the uh, physician is actually may not even be aware that they're coming off as treating that individual as another number. And I'm not saying that was the case, but that happens in a lot of instances. Yeah, and, and, and you don't know unless someone points it out to you, right? Because you you get in this. Estamos en una situación, en, lo, estamos haciendo la misma cosa cada día, cada día con el doctor. Y lo importante aquí en, en participar con estos estudiantes eh, médicos o doctores del futuro es saber que esa parte de, de, de ser eh, una persona y establecer relaciones con esta persona. Eh, eh, no nomás simplemente usar la computadora, ¿no? And uh, so, so yeah, I think that that becomes a big part in terms, of, especially I think, especially with um, with our 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 differently our different computers. At least you know, from a Latino perspective, we want we're you know the huggy kissy type, right? And and I know and I know your family too that way too, right? Absolutely. That that Absolutely. responds more. Yes, yes. So I mean, even if it's just a little bit, that or encouragement. Comes in right, right, right. Have a good weekend. You look good. I like them too. Uh, exactly. Be real. Yes. Ah, be yes. real. Exactly. Be, exactly. That's it, right? Be real. Yes. Yes. Be complimentary. And I think doctors can go a long way in their practice. They, they, they. Um, well, we've had nothing but incredible feedback from the students uh, that have actually shared that it opened their eyes because they were now able to realize that. Some of these same individuals that they will possibly be treating could be their own love. Could, uh, yes. could it could be their reflect something that resonates for them. This could be my mom, my dad, my uncle, my uh, my grandmother, my grandfather. And so that's truly, truly what the profession should 
lo quiero decir esto en español. Cuando usted va al médico, si el médico no le cae muy bien o, o usted no entiende lo que le están diciendo, uh, sin embargo hay una persona que habla español, pero todavía no entiende, necesita decir eso. No es que usted no tiene la inteligencia de entender, no más es simplemente que hay que quizás otra manera de explicar la situación. So I'm just saying, David, as part of the experience of going back to the med students and their understanding of this, and the doctors as well too, when you go see your doctor, if if you're not feeling it, if you're not feeling it, then then be clear about that. If you're not clear about that, they'll never understand. I, I, I say personally, I used to say this, When, when I served, I had the privilege of serving as a justice of the peace here. During that period of time, I knew every case that was in front of me. I got there early in the morning. I read over the cases. And I, I knew what to expect, whether it was a ticket, whether it was the, um, the um, uh, you know, landlord, the tenant disputes, the, the right. you know, the eviction right. docket, uh, so, so small claims. I read that I took the time to read the file. So one of my pet peeves when a doctor comes in or when a nurse comes in is, hi, Mr. Compion, um, what are you here for? Now, I'll jump on that immediately. I said, whoa, 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 We're, we need to start over. I, I, that's not the language that, that's going to motivate me to even want to continue seeing you. But I know the background. What you're really saying is that I'm just trying to reconfirm some information according to what I have here. Mm -hmm. And if and I said that recently with a visit with my mom. I'm, the, the nurse came in, Miss Company, what, what are you here for? Well, my mom is, in, or the, the person that's sick, They're not at their best right now. Right? They're they're frustrated, and I know I've been there. Yeah, I mean, uh, all kinds of impact comprehension. Uh, comprehension. It's impacted. Uh, uh, the the whole anxiety level. Uh, the there's just a number number of things that uh, can hinder that whole of element of effectiveness that needs to come about from a visit. Exactly. So huh? absolutely. And these absolutely. words have are are impactful. Then how do you approach use of proper use of words? The words. So, so if you begin the conversation, nurse comes in, a doctor comes in, and said, "Look, I'm, I, I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm just trying to reconfirm, reconfirm some information. Would you mind telling me why are you here today? I just want to reconfirm some information. Uh, all right, that's that's good. That's consistent here with what we see here. Absolutely. Is there anything else, right? right? But just to come in and say, "All right, what are you here for?" Man, that just gets me it's hot. It's gets it's me hot. It's uh, been really, uh, <laughs> Disinterested. Disinterested. Yeah, and, the, and, these, and so we, that's part of advocacy. That's part of, uh, of what we do. That's part of what you do, well, I know. Because yeah? the goal uh, uh, is to actually uh, assist with the need to advocate, but the uh, outcome for us overall is to help the individual develop a sense of self-advocacy. Uh, self-advocacy. So it's like a, we, if there's a need for us to advocate, that's a given. But our goal and role is to help you learn how to develop your own personal sense of uh, self-advocacy as well. And David, let me ask you, do you and, and I know you've traveled in different parts of the world, and, and this is something that I'm, I'm very curious, someone like you that has had that opportunity to travel. If I, if I asked you, do you think that we live in, with, given your travels, right, do you think that we live in a community or a country that at least has made available to us tools to improve, has made available to us tools to improve, would that be an accurate statement? Uh, without a doubt. Uh, okay. For sure. uh, per, I, I, yeah. But I think one of the uh, issues is the fact that uh, that has not been a supportive uh, element for encouraging everyone. In, 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 in assisting everyone. It's like uh, this whole base of assumption, assumption that people are going to know what to do and how to do it. And we have to be mindful for those that have attempted. Yes. They've been rejected and shut, yeah, shut out and, and excluded. Uh, and so there are a lot of dynamics that keep the full scope of uh, the, uh, the full sense of the portrait being completed. Uh, and we have to we have to be mindful of that. And, 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 isn't that, and I guess that's what I'm, I use the term 
someone might be surprised. Well, you know, we live in the greatest country and this is it. But I, I talk about tools because sometimes there are those people who will try to keep those tools away from you. Absolutely. I guess if we talk about it in that oh, in that manner, huh? Absolutely. We've we're seen that, right? History class, right? History class, right? <laughs> Historically, for some, Absolutely. for some. But but you know, it's, I can. It's interesting that we have one of the major parties that just has apparently their their nominee is going to be a female. Well, for a long part of this country, and, and I, I've seen some organizations, nonprofit that I'm a field, that I'm engaged with, there there are women that are not being given tools to advance. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So so it irritates some people when you have a female that is stepping up and saying, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to figure out the key to unlock the toolbox where those tools are uh, at. Yeah, how dare you be self empowered and assured enough to know that you have a right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's the interesting thing. Unfortunately we have uh, women that are actually saying, "I, it is my right, They're right, and yeah. I do have uh, a responsibility and a role that makes sure that I have a say so." Le pregunté a, a David, aquí mi amigo, si él ha viajado mucho en varias partes del mundo, okay? Y le hago la pregunta a él si 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 le si le digo si 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 le digo esta frase, okay? Si él cree que este país después de todos sus viajes, nos ofrece las herramientas para mejorar nuestra vida. Eh, si, si él está de acuerdo con esta frase o no, esta pregunta. Y él dice absolutamente sí. Y lo que estamos hablando, discutiendo en este momento es que, pero hay veces que hay personas que tratan de, de, de no ofrecernos esas herramientas, ¿ok? Porque de, del color de somos, que somos, o porque hablamos diferente idioma, o porque somos mujer, um, que okay. hay personas que, que no nos ofrecen las llaves de, de la caja en donde están estos equipos, estos, estos herramientas. So that, that I think that's, that's to say, and so it's incumbent upon us, and I guess that's the reason if, it, if people ask me why I'm doing this, well, well, hell, it's a definition. I've said it on all, every one of the programs, old Bob Harrington, you just say, what's the definition of success? Mm -hmm. Is that you know what you want to do, you have fun doing it, you can pay for the trip, and you're not hurting anyone. And having said that, that's what I'm trying to do here in this. I know what I want to do. I know, I knew, and, and, and you and I have talked about this, that we have, I think we, you, you, me, those of us that have been blessed in so many ways, in so many ways, with a great education, I think we have a special obligation, all right? Now, I'm, uh, it's a special obligation. I'm not going to force anything upon you or down your throat or anything, but I do know that I'm, I know what I think I want to do. I want to have fun doing it. We're right. having fun. Right. Are we having fun? I well, am. Okay. <laughs> If not, I'm, I'm going to hit you with a hit with this. I know, I was going to yeah. say, you yeah. better answer yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and my chest is hurting. Yeah. It's not really a bad word. It's just Okay, yes, yes. So, so, and we can pay for the trip. You know, it, it costs to get to do this, but. But if we're able to do that, fine, rather than me going to spend $200 in dinner or, or another trip or stuff like that. Yeah, because I have a desire and, and I want to bring people like yourself that, you know, if I can do this and then have a forum for, for us as a community to talk. And bit by bit, it doesn't begin. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to worry about how many counts I have or how many friends I have. That doesn't make any it difference. Doesn't, doesn't. You know, yeah, when I talk right. to God, I'm not looking for a counter to see, you know, my, how many friends heard this conversation. Exactly, exactly. Right? It's a one-on-one exactly. -on -one conversation. Exactly, right? exactly. And then, I, and, and then I, I'm doing it so that I'm not hurting anyone. As long as I'm not hurting anyone, then yeah, uh, hell yeah, we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun and we'll do this. God willing, we'll take a trip someplace together. We'll bring the computer along. Oh, I love and it. We can I do. Love That's it. the power, I, I think, of the Internet. Yes. And it's incumbent upon us to try to utilize these tools. Because, believe it or not, there are other people that do it very well. They do it daily. They're making money off of it. They're looking to make money yes. or anything else. But, 
But we have, we, if we can do this, I think that I we just can ask you more to powerful. promise me one thing. When we get to the dance hall, uh, on our trip, trip, can you turn the camera on? Right. Well, that will happen. That will happen. Okay. That will happen. That will happen. Okay. That will happen. So, wonderful. by the way, one of the Davids, and I don't know what... I don't know how this comes across, but you have the opportunity, at least the opportunity, or if you're not ready, you say that, because I know you, I don't want to put you on the spot. But David, and I've often said I'll pay for this, David, um, uh, pretty soon he's going to have some CDs out. I don't know, what, uh, maybe it's old. Maybe that's old school to say CDs. He needs to have a YouTube video or something like that, right? Oh. Or maybe it's here that you have, because this goes to YouTube now, David. Oh, wow. But David is has a tremendous voice, and God has blessed him with that particular ability to use his voice to reach out and to impact others. And, uh, uh, David tiene una voz muy, muy impactante. Él, él puede usar su voz para impactar personas y cambiar vidas. Y, y eso es otra, otro, otro, otro regalo que Dios le ha dado. And so, I don't know if you will have a, if you, if you want to, or just say, sing something, or whatever. Well, I, 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 I actually would ask if, if there's a, a future opportunity yeah, yeah, to really yeah. uh, present uh, uh, something of just the, the universal sense of yeah, that'll be great. Or we get some of your friends involved, and we'll just tie. We'll have hosting. a jam session on the on music, huh? And have you hosted? <laughs> we can talk about. Yeah. Don't ask me to sing because I couldn't. I could hold a gun to my head. I said I always remember in elementary school. But mom forced me to join everything, all right? That's yes, where the yes, sense of, yes, oh, yes, you got to yes, do, you got to do, you got to do. That was from my mom. That was from my mom. My yes. dad was, when you when is school over, you're going to come and work with me. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But God bless him, right? <laughs> yes. But mom, is you're going to join everything, you're going to join. So I had to join choir. And I always remember Miss uh, Osterberg, Miss Osterberg. And I'm in choir. I think this is fifth grade or something like that. And let me tell you. This little Johnny here, he was not at all into this choir business. And uh, but I always remember, okay, we're gonna sing. And and Miss Osterberg would get up and she'd look around and we were all wondering, what the hell is she? Why is she looking? Until finally she said, Enough. There's somebody here that just has a terrible voice. <laughs> That's honesty. And it's over here in this section. And I kinda think I think it's me, right? I think it's me. I couldn't hold I couldn't read a note if he held a gun to my head. I don't know what an A and a B or a C or a F. I remember F A C E, right? Is that something on the on the uh, music scale? Huh? F A C E everybody every instructor is different what they use. Oh, okay. No, but that's that's one of them. Oh, okay. I, I, I always remember that. And, yes. Oh, that's that. But, but my brother David here, my God has blessed him with some with some vocals, as they say. I guess that's the term. So he 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 he, he, he does a dynamic <laughs> job on that side. So we're going to use that opportunity to for a future show, something to look forward to. And uh, well, David, I think we've talked. It, it's easy for us to talk I all the time. So, huh? so so appreciative and excited. Yeah, we can do more. We because can do it. This think is actually, ideas. Yeah, more so mm -hmm. in the sense because uh, you are the pulse of the community. Uh, I, 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 I say this, and I'm saying it with the utmost sincerity. I I am not familiar with anyone else at this time that has actually been so immersed in the community and its need. And it's the community. It didn't matter what aspect of the community, it's a part of the community and your uh, your your advocacy, your your sense of motivation and drive to make sure equality is in its existence. And that's something that we need to make sure is communicated and conveyed we're still working towards oh, equality that, that, you know. and so we never can get to the point of feeling like we've actually accomplished it in its entirety mm -hmm. and uh, uh we do have elements of hope that have shown us of recent that uh, from the very beginning of this country's founding to the present we've seen a a surge in attempts to bring about a level of equality, and I hope it continues. Continue. And I know with individuals such as yourself, that <laughs> well, will, see, that will we be have to case. bring up younger people too, right? Get get uh, that. That's our yes. that's our challenge. Yes, how do we absolutely. get them excited? I'm, I'm right? Uh, I don't know how we get them excited. But we thank you, that's Senor. Part of that. No, 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 no. Yes. And thank you. Uh, a lot of this. So, gracias uh, por este programa. Vamos a terminar. Lo pueden ver por uh, YouTube. Uh, 
eh, buscando Not Your Average Joe Show um, eh, en español. Agradezco a mi amigo Elmer González de, de El Salvador. I want to say a special shout out to my friend Elmer González. It's always interesting from El Salvador. It's interesting in Central America, David, you've seen this. They tend to name the first names, use it like Winston, Elmer, uh, Bernard, uh, Gerald, uh, huh? yes, oh, yes. always an anglicized name, yes, and then yes. you'll, you'll have Garcia, yes. Espinosa, or something like that, right? <laughs> and I always I find that so cute. But my friend Elmer, Elmer, thank you so much. I was up all night long trying to prepare a book. I finally got it finished about four o'clock in this morning. I got stumped in some of the language that I'd written. It didn't make sense. My mind wasn't very, I, I, he was available to me at that time of the morning. I, 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 I apologize, but I, he was the only one I could think of that could help me through this that I thought might be up at that time too, and he was. And um, But thank you for giving me the, the guidance and how to translate accurately uh, the not so average Joe show name into Spanish. El nombre en español, gracias a mi amigo Elmer de El Salvador, es el, Joe, el show de Joe, anormal y excepcional. Y con eso terminamos esta quinta edición del show de Joe, anormal y excepcional. Uh, with that, uh, I'll we'll terminate this fifth edition of the. Um, and not your average Joe show. We'll look forward to some music and whatever Absolutely. you want to organize in time. That's great. We can do it anytime. Yes. And uh, and uh, we'll continue growing. And God bless you always. God bless your mom and your entire family. And mm -hmm. thank same you always. You, you know, same you. Same you. Okay. Same you love you. Take care. All right. See ya. See ya, folks. Bye. Bye.